time. Money plays, make some fucking noise. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Guys, it's been so fucking hot lately, hasn't it? Like, it just sucks in the summertime if you're a bigger guy like me, you know, because you're just sweaty forever. <laughs> They're like, I've been so sweaty for as long as I can remember. Like, I can't remember the last time I was dry because, like, puberty and 9-11 hit me in the same week. <laughs> it's a bad week for me and Bush, you know, like, <laughs> just looking at, like, is this what happens? Honestly, though, I was sweating so much, I thought maybe I should go to the doctor. Maybe he can help me with it, you know? I thought maybe he can give me some shots, maybe he can give me some pills or something. So I go in there, I tell him what's up. He's like, oh, hey, you're sweating a lot, huh? You try uh, sleeping with less blankets? That's not even medical advice. That's just advice. <laughs> That's the kind of advice you get while waiting in line for the good advice. <laughs> It's like, uh, yeah, you're sweating a lot. You, you try to sleep with less blankets. Is like, oh, yeah, you want to get rid of global warming? You try impounding your car? I saw that same doctor on the news about six or eight months later after I went in there. And it wasn't, it wasn't for anything good. He was on the news because he was inappropriately touching a female patient. He got arrested. This doctor got arrested for inappropriately touching a female patient, which makes sense why I wasn't on his radar when I walked in, you know? <laughs> Unless I had come in and been like, uh, yeah, doc, I don't know what's going on. I just can't stop growing titties. I ain't no doctor, but I think they all need a mouth massage. But honestly, I could see why like a cereal groper would be out to discredit blankets, you know? <laughs> Oh yeah, you should try sleeping with nothing in the way. That's not even the worst uh, experience I've had at like a medical facility recently. I was, uh, I was unemployed and I had to donate blood plasma. You know when you're that level of poor and you're like, maybe I can get rid of some of this blood I'm not using. The thing is, everybody, you know, everybody says, like, uh, yeah, everyone who's in there is, like, the, the, the worst people in the world. But the guy behind me was really nice, you know. He was, like, everyone in there seems homeless, but he was definitely homeless because he was, like, that sun-baked kind of <laughs> homeless, you know. He had a big trash bag over his shoulder, like a beef jerky Santa. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so, so security comes up to him, and they're like, sir, you can't have that trash bag in here. He's like, okay, okay. He opens the trash bag, swear to God, like, ten pigeons just fly out. Just fill the waiting room. What do you do in your day where you end up with a bag of live birds? <laughs> do you just mishear the plot of Up? <laughs> it's balloons, bro. I went to the bathroom at the blood bank. Not one, both toilets full of kitty litter. Yeah, we weren't sure if most people would be people or most people would be cats. Like, what could be the, the, the reason for for filling a toilet with kitty litter, like, yeah, it was leaking oil again, so. <laughs> it's just a dirty mechanic, like, comes out from under the toilet, like, I'm gonna need it for a couple more days. <laughs> Two guys at the blood bank, never met before, traded shoes. That's what you do, <laughs> the blood bank, fresh pair of kicks. Once I get back there, though, once they, once they drug test you and everything, you finally get back there, the staff are just, like, gorgeous 18 to 19-year-old black children just <laughs> running this blood bank. Like, it's a Disney Channel original series about, like, a black family that runs a blood bank called, like, Jackson Positive. <laughs> I like that one squeaky laugh in the back. That was fun. Once you're hooked up to the machine, though, it takes like 30 or 40 minutes for, for, for the whole process to take place, you know? So they play a movie for you. And the movie they were playing was Captain America 2, The Winter Soldier, right? So I'm watching it. There's this dude next to me who about 20 minutes in starts like looking around. And then he goes. Yo, why ain't Superman using his laser eyes? He was pissed because he thought Captain America was Superman. <laughs> Yo, they got rid of his fucking cape. 
yo, man, that's Cole. <laughs> he looks over at me and he's like, uh, he's like, man, why they, why they fucking with Superman? I'm like, does this guy think every superhero is Superman? <laughs> he must have very confusing summers. <laughs> yo, why is Superman a raccoon? All right, my name is Kyle Anderson. Thank you very much, guys.